Hello lovelies, in this video we're going to be going through our predictions for AQA, A Living Environment Science Paper 1. Now don't forget, as long as this subject, we have biology, chemistry and maths as well, but they all start after half term. So, just like for our other subjects, our environmental science teacher has meticulously analysed the trends and patterns from past exams, and she's used this analysis to develop the predicted environmental science papers for this year. Now, you can access all of the predicted papers by following the link in the description down below. And then in addition to this, we've created video walkthroughs for all of the papers. And in these video walkthroughs, we're going to be demonstrating to you what top band answers look like, because that is a skill. And these videos will guide you through the necessary skills to interpret the questions, and then how to structure answers effectively to show off to the examiner. And we include a set of videos which are level five, 25 mark essays to show off to you how to structure your answers as well as covering all the science that you need. So your balance of assessment objectives and the holistic nature. So the resources that we've developed will help you understand the style of questions that you'll encounter in the exam, be able to decipher what they're really asking and then work out what is included in your responses and how to structure them. So this preparation will allow you to replicate the process that we use in the real exam. Now we know to get those high grades, you need to show a holistic understanding of the course. So interlinking topics across the whole course is needed to show a deeper understanding and knowledge of environmental science. So I strongly suggest that you do both of our papers and watch both of our walkthroughs before paper one. Both papers and both video walkthroughs for this year are available on our boot camps and in our master class. So you can use these topics to have a starting point for your revision, or you can just sit back. Please remember to revise everything thoroughly. These are just predictions. We do not have any inside information or prior knowledge the exams. We have not seen the actual papers. So think of this as a topic point where you can start off your revision, but please remember everything now. All research methods, variables, data, interpretations, and stat tests can come up across either papers. So it's definitely worth spending time on this. We'd like you to look at how we ensure that water is safe to drink, the different methods and how they work, and the good and bad parts of each. The processes that can lead to rock formations and salt deposits. We'd like you to look at hydrological cycles and how their human activities can affect and alter this. We'd like you to look at water pollution, including the things like thermal pollution and cooling towers, so thermal pollution of water. The other types of pollution as well, including from industry, so how the environment's been polluted by things such as heavy metals. We'd like you to look at cradle to grave design and the advantages and disadvantages of recycling. We'd like you to look at the different methods for extracting fossil fuels, and then on top of that, We'd like you to look at the methods of exploration and how new technology can be used to locate new mineral deposits. One of the other things we'd like you to look at is conservation of energy. And again, how new technology can be designed, how things can be designed with energy conservation in mind, such as conserving electrical energy or conserving or reusing heat energy. Ozone depletion and the atmosphere, so the importance of the ozone layer, the effect that human habitats are having on it, um, the importance of where it is, and then how we can fix -ish the hole in it. How flowers can change the fertility of the soil, so this is going to be including all the nutrient, nutrient cycles, so your nitrogen, carbon and phosphorus cycle, and then linking through to that, we'd like you to look at eutrophication as well as biotic and abiotic factors that are going to be affecting systems. So we know we're going to end with two essays. And the topics that we have prepared for this year's essay, so we've written example answers for, again, these are all open in their videos, are methods used to manage biochemical cycles in order to reduce the human impact on the environment. And then the properties of soil and the effect on soil fertility, erosion, and the environmental impacts from agriculture. So. That is paper one, you can get paper two and the video walkthroughs all in our bootcamp masterclasses. Good luck guys, we are here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.